okay, so we've got the inverse trig functions here, right? And in order to differentiate these, we need to use the results in the formula booklet, right? So the results are there for us already, okay? So we don't have to remember them. So in the formula booklet, if I look down here, there they are, right? On the differentiation page at the top there, yeah? And they're there, okay? So quite simply, I can write them down. dy dx for sine inverse x, sine to the minus one of x, will be one over square root one minus x squared. dy dx cos minus one will be minus one over one minus x. So it's very similar, but there's a minus in front of it. And for the tan one, dy dx will equal one over one plus x squared. Okay, and that's, that's what they are. Don't remember them, they're there. Now, if I was given this, for instance, and I was asked to differentiate sine to the minus one of, say, two x, okay, right? So that's, remember now, this is a function of a function, isn't it? So I've got, I've got sine to the minus one is the outside function, of 2x, the inside function. So you differentiate the outside function first. So sine to the minus 1, well, it becomes this, doesn't it? So we get 1 over square root, okay? Now 1, now my x all of a sudden becomes 2x, right? Because it's, it's, it's sine to the minus 1 of 2x, isn't it? So I've got to put 2x in there, but remember you've got to square it, and you've got to square all of it. So put it in a bracket, okay? Because if you don't, put in a bracket, you forget, when you? you forget the square, not the squaring x, right? You're squaring whatever this is. So you're squaring whatever this is here, so you're squaring all of it. And then, of course, you differentiate the outside function sine to the minus 1, you've got to times it then by the derivative of the inside function, which is 2, okay? So then you get 2 on the top, on the bottom then, 1 minus, now 2x all squared becomes 4x squared, yeah? If you square them there. Okay? Hopefully that makes makes sense there. Now, um, if you've got, for instance, the tan one, so suppose you've got tan to the minus 1. Tan one's easier in a way. Okay, the result's a lot easier. So suppose you've got tan to the minus 1 of 5x. Well, dy dx. And put it in that result. So you differentiate tan to the minus 1, and you get this. So you get 1 over 1 plus x squared, but it'll, it'll be what this is, isn't it? It's 5x. So it'll be 5x all squared, and then you've got to times it then. Function of a function times it by the derivative of the inside function, which is 5. So you get 5 over 1 plus, now that becomes 25x squared, okay? And, you, and you're done on that, all right? Now, um, they do sort of, um, can get a little bit trickier. I suppose you could get this. I suppose you get this, cos to the minus 1 of, say, x cubed. <coughs> okay, you could get that. Now, that there uh, would be cos to the minus 1 of x cubed, yeah? So you differentiate cos to the minus 1, use the result, so it's minus, isn't it, in the formula, we've got minus 1 over 1 minus, now you've got to square, right? You've got to square there, haven't you? You've got to square what is that, okay? So, yeah, if we're squaring what is that. Now, in this case, we've got to square what is this. So I put it x cubed and all squared, I do it like that, I would, okay? And then... Um, times it then by the derivative in here, differentiate that, you get 3x squared, okay? So you get minus, so 3x squared on the top, and then underneath then, square root 1 minus. Now, when you've got this here, when you've got one power raised to another within indices, you times them, don't you? So that'd be x power 6, okay? And we're done.